Hey, what's up guys? Nils here and welcome back to another video. So apparently dungeons are pretty crazy right now with the event and I would speculate that I have also been buffed and the drops out of dungeons are pretty crazy. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna dive in there and we're gonna see how much stuff we can actually get out of a single dungeon. Now, unfortunately for us, we do not have the drops artifact, which would be honestly pretty freaking big here if we had a, that artifact equipped. But it's fine, we're gonna do the best we can regardless. So let's check out what uh, actually stats are we playing with. So if we were to equip our um, drops team, so we have currently 19.2x drops and with the drop post, we will be at 38.4. So not the worst, not the best either, I guess. Um, still pretty decent. And did I just start a public dungeon? Yes, I did. So we actually better hurry to kill uh, everything as fast as possible before somebody decides to yoink our stuff. So I'll see you guys once we actually get to the chests and we'll see what's popping on with the drops. Right, so off to the first chest room and honestly not looking the best, just one chest. But uh, let's see what we can actually pull out of just one chest. Oh my god, this guy actually... What are you doing, man? Look it out. We got... We didn't get any real tokens or did we just not see them? Okay, I don't know. Maybe we did get actually. But we got 444 drops in total. So I guess we can actually keep track of what we are getting uh, by just... Uh, checking our inventory but we did get 24 divine fruits and we did get uh, one dungeon token already so that's pretty good in itself i would say all right guys another gold room another uh, chance to actually get some good stuff so 632 real tokens right now and oh three chests okay I uh, love to see that actually. So let's check out what we get. 19 Divine Fruits, 18 Real Tokens, a Shiny Pot, 4 Shards, and a whole bunch of uh, Fragments as well. 18 Real Tokens again. Okay, Real Tokens are actually going crazy here. Imagine guys if we actually had an Artifact of Time, or rather an Artifact of Hoarding. That would be pretty sweet. And another person actually just came into our dungeon, so yep, definitely regretting doing that in public. All right, another gold room, and let's see what we actually can get out of this one. So we're starting off at a 689. So we actually got a pretty decent amount of tokens from the previous chest room. And let's see what we get out of this one. 22 real tokens, very nice. Another shiny potion and 17 real tokens, very nice. And this should be the last gold room for uh, this run. So once again, let's see, 728 real tokens to begin with. And we're already something like 100 real tokens up, definitely. So I wonder how far we can get. I've seen people getting like 300 real tokens in a dungeon, but I would assume that uh, in order to get this much, you probably want to be having a artifact of hoarding equipped so i don't think that's uh, within reach for us but drops are still going crazy so that's uh very nice to see so if you guys have your cooldown i would highly suggest you to equip uh, artifact of hoarding unless you want to grind yen in this case i would uh, suggest you to go for uh, damage instead and i think that would probably be the wiser play but it honestly just comes down to what you want to farm my yen is not the best either so i definitely need to run some ultimate trials so we'll see how that is gonna work out i guess
And there we go guys, we actually have yet another gold room. I would assume that, uh, well at this point I am 100% convinced that Darb has buffed the drops and the rooms as well. Like that's crazy, five rooms. I don't think I've ever had that before. So 765 tokens start. Now, unfortunately we only have uh, this very, very tiny amount of, uh, oh, we actually got 34 out of this one. I was gonna say we have a very tiny amount of chests. We just have a single chest in the room, but I don't think it really ended up mattering because we did literally get a uh, 34 out of this one and oh my god there is so many people here remind me to never again run a public dungeon because that's just uh, completely painful but let's try to get uh, some stuff out of uh, this uh, room before people snatch anything from us so 799 tokens and oh my god come on do damage do damage Okay, 35 real tokens, very nice. 26 real tokens, very, very nice. 37 real tokens, oh my god, and we're even sharing the chest, guys. We're actually even sharing the chest. I don't think they do that much damage, but, and 40 real tokens, oh my lord. We're actually, guys, at literally a little bit above 300 real tokens, something like 320 real tokens after a... Uh, a single dungeon and we did also get a, our dungeon token back i think we got two of them even i don't think we just got one so that's pretty insane so we're gonna double run this we're gonna go once again and we are gonna go and uh, do this on a private just uh, get everybody out of here or we can actually just uh, wait for the dungeon to end i guess even in this public and just uh, start it again and yeah i think that works as well so once this uh cooldown here is done we can just rerun it as friends only so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys so we are back for the second run and let's see now what uh, we are here uh, starting out with so we are starting out currently with 915 passive tokens so let's see what uh, we're gonna end up with so the plan here or the target would be something like 1250 so let's see what we got at the end and actually let's equip a team that can actually do damage because we are not ever gonna kill with a team So as you guys can see this run was a lot horrible compared to the worst one to the previous one like previous one was actually pretty crazy not only did we get five golden rooms we even had like decent amount of chests in the rooms unlike this run like we even had four chests on the last run but let's actually check out what we got here so we started with 915 i believe 
We got... Oh my, that, this run was actually horrible though. <clears throat> I assume like that's like low chest runs plus bad RNG. We didn't even get a hundred passive tokens as opposed to the 300 that we got on the previous run. So that's honestly a pretty big uh, gap in terms of uh, rewards. But from what I've been told by people, like this uh, last uh, hour or two, if you have actually a full artifact of hoarding equipped, like uh, two times upgraded, I think it's two, I don't know. I think it's up, it goes up to times two. And if you have like a full team of uh, double draconics, just like this unit here, you can actually get up to 1000 real tokens if the run is good, which is uh, kind of absurd if you're asking me. So that is uh, definitely sounding pretty cool. Now, our units are still leveling here. I wonder how long this unit is going to take to level up to level 365. I think that's going to definitely be a while, and hopefully we can actually get it done by tomorrow. And then we can go ahead and try some uh, low room 40 runs. That would be pretty sweet. I guess we'll see how that goes. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Dungeons definitely seem to be better. And I don't think it's just the event. It feels like uh, there were some tweaks. Because there is a lot more stuff actually to opening. I like fruits at this point are whatever, like it's so easy to just get fruits, it's kind of crazy. I think that the caps like should just get uh, like lifted, like the restrictions to the caps should just get lifted eventually. There is honestly no point in having a cap where you can farm like so many, like they all just literally just uh, end up being wasted. Unless you actually get uh, to trade them to people. And now you may be wondering what I'm doing, I essentially just uh, burned the fruits that I couldn't like uh, trade. So I can just uh, get like fruits that I can't trade. Not like I'm gonna trade them anyway, but you know, and just for the sake of having them, like defense tokens have been capped for a very long time now at 100. So yeah, these are things that uh, can get uh, actually removed from the game, like these cap restrictions. So yep. But anyway, guys, that was pretty much it for this video. I hope it gave you some answers as to how the current state of dungeons looks. And maybe that helped you out a little bit. As always, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like and the subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys all on the next one. Take care.